I'm going to come in here and we're going to clear this place out because they are becoming a pest, a nuisance. All right, you two, let's go. We'll handle these idiots. Well, that was <laughs> that was quick. I was thinking we might try the stealth approach, Eddie, but it's on. It's not. Let's unlock this terminal really quick. Uh, what do we got? Trading? No. So nothing with the ING planned. There we go. And disengage lock. This door should lead us to something nice, I would think. Uh, that's not nice. <laughs> it's not nice at all, actually. Um, something nice for early game, anyway. Let's go ahead and open this. Let's see. Got some caps. Egg timer. Don't really care. Pack of cigarettes. Not interested. Uh, but the caps are nice. Let's see. Some mintets. Maybe some stem packs. No. We can make our own stem packs later with those empty yes. syringes. Let's have to figure out how to do that. I'm sure that there's some guide online. All right. Uh, Bison Steve maintenance key. That may come useful later. I thought there was ashtray. Why would you throw the ashtray away? That's kind of dumb. Okay. Let's go ahead and clear this place out. It shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, what is this? Nothing. Okay, I thought that was like a door or something. Oh, what do you got? Ah, varmint rifle. So y'all ain't very equipped, are you? Keep the rest of your stuff. Is any of this worth it? Not really. Take your rounds there just because why not? Y'all can keep your stuff. Take your pre-war money, though. What do we got? Carton of cigarettes. That's always useful. Sunset sarsaparilla. Nice. Let's see if we can get this safe open. Take everything in there. There's going to be a lot of loot in this place. That's the main reason I even came in here. But it was a lot of loot. Um, Eddie apparently just killed someone just died repair it So we repaired the elevator that'll give us the easy way up and out of here Take your pistol uh, Take your cases too. I don't know much about reloading, but we'll, we'll see there's nothing else really I want on you So it's not worth the wait Take the nuka cola Open the door we need to clear this place out and get sh that stupid sheriff or whatever you call him with us. Maintenance door. This should give us, well, give us a back way into where the idiot is. Put him down. I don't know why I waited to shoot him, but Russell apparently got, I'm going to turn that kill cam off just because kind of stops the okay I'm none there we go plus it, it'll make it easier to monetize later anyway i don't suppose you came here to rescue me i'd cross my fingers but my hands are numb you must be deputy beagle why yes i am it's a pleasure to meet you i'm in a bit of a predicament here i'd be most appreciative if you'd set me free i'll, I'll set you free oh that's just marvelous i think i'll be making my um yeah sure run away you don't look like you'd help much exactly then i'll defer to your superior appraisal of character and prowess in contests of arms and see you outside yeah i just don't want to even Contact. bother with him because he's just he's an idiot and he's not somebody that you can take with you anyway he has no character <laughs> arc um like that? what was that Yeah, he doesn't like turn into like a great sheriff later on in the game or anything. 
He just always stays out. And y'all have already cleared the room? How? I guess because that other guy came through and was just firing his thing off willy-nilly and just killed everybody in the process. That's one way to clear a room, but the deputy's free, so what do you got? Um, You can keep all that crap. That's garbage. Uh, flame? You had a flamer. Okay. Or an incinerator. Uh, am I interested? Not really. It's just, it's just a weight issue. I'm not trying to... See, the thing is, I know that loot does add up, but it's like I'm not trying to take anything like this worth maybe like 20 caps because it just seems like it's kind of a waste of my time. Like when you have other loot that you could be dropping off. But, I mean, at the same time, maybe I should be taking all I can get because it does add up. You're, you're right, you're right. Metaphorical person that told me I was wrong. That's, that's how I got all the money I got now, so. We could leave right now if we want, but we want to clear this place out because I'm going to try to rebuild this into something nice later. So we got to just make sure that everybody in here is out of here. And that's already been cleared. All right, boys, let's go up here and handle these, these outlaws. And they're really no threat to us anyway. They just were kind of just dumb. Plus they're like low level enemies, so it's not exactly a big of a threat. Put them down. Anybody there? By the way, the way I'm doing that is I am just doing a force unlock, Found which you. I have a hundred percent, so it's not gonna break the thing. Take the scrap metal because it could be useful. Whoops, <gasps> sorry, Russell. Eddie, are you hey. um are you going full terminator on this Found place? You. I think <clears throat> Eddie's going full terminator in here. I keep up with the uh -huh. fact that Russell's in here. Don't want to kill Russell. <clears throat> well, you can't kill Russell. He's Essential, I think. Help. Anything in here? Not really. Usually bathrooms have a first aid kit. You just keep sneaking around. Okay. Bottle caps, carton of cigarettes, I'll take it. Hockey mask. That might look neat on Russell. Take your pre-war money and you can keep the rest of that crap. Hey, hey, Russell. I know you got an eye patch, but it'll be kind of cool if you put on this, uh, this, uh, let's see, where are you at? Uh, I can do that. No. Good call. Sure yeah, thing. Inventory. Uh, take off the hat and then let's see what you look like if we do this. Get some Jason Voorhees going on in this thing. Harold hockey mask. Um, <laughs> look a little bit ridiculous, honestly, but yeah, we're not going to do that. That, that just, Kims are look, good. Weapons are better. That doesn't look good. Um, what do you look like without a hat? Like solid snakes. So we'll leave the hat off. I think that's what he's supposed to be based on probably is, uh, Escape from New York. At least that's what he looks like. Kind of looks like Big Boss, doesn't he? From MGS3 or Iroquois Pliskin from... Was it Pliskin and Escape from New York? I can't remember. I may be wrong. Maybe it was Pliskin.
What do we got in here? Anything? It doesn't look like much. Pack of old, stale cigarettes. Not interested. Door. Is there anything up here at all? Doesn't look like it. Looks like it's kind of just empty. Just, yeah. This looks like a like a junkie's hideout. Doesn't look like there's much here, if anything. Is that is this just a burn book? Yeah. There's just garbage up there. It's nothing up there that's worth our time at all. We're probably in here either by the look of it. Yeah, it's basically just a junky hideout. So I mean, I don't know what I was expecting to find upstairs beyond extra bodies. Anything in trash can? Nope. It said empty, so I don't know why I touched it. Nothing. All right, so. Go ahead and head down to the bottom floor, and we are done in here. This is a quick mission, really. It didn't take much time or effort because Eddie went full Terminator. And, yeah, that happened. <laughs> Eddie went full Terminator. So we've cleared out the Bison's, uh, I think it's the Bison Steve is what they call it. And we will be back here soon for a mod that, well, we're going to test out a new gun that we have. Nice. This is the anti-material rifle. This thing is ridiculous because it can take all sorts of wild different uh, ammo. This is regular ammo. It has armor piercing. It has incendiary, which will uh, set the person on fire. And it has explosive rounds. So if you shoot somebody, it'll blow up when it hits them in the chest. Now, did I? Well, actually, it's going to be a kill cam because I... Record mode on and yeah, normal. Save on rest. Okay. It's going to save right here. But we did handle it. Now, one thing we could do is we could give the town to the NCR if we wanted to, but eh, I, I usually do that, but we're not going to do that this playthrough. I think we're going to do, we're just going to let, well, I mean, if we leave it with Moron, then it's not going to be all that. Okay, we have a poster right here. 250 caps for termination of Prometheus. He is wanted for terrorism and numerous felonies. Uh, he was cited at Black Mountain and is considered armed and dangerous. We will take care of that later. More than men. Oh, boy. That was a random pickup. Where is... Howdy. That's Russell. Um, oh, there he is. Well, that was quite an adventure. We taught those convicts a thing or two, didn't we? Uh, we? Breaking myself out of a hostage situation. Not to diminish your role in it, of course. Problem is, there's still no law in Prem. What are we to do the next... Uh, what are you talking about? You're the sheriff now. Oh, no. I'm just a deputy, and I can't be a deputy without a sheriff. It's called chain of command. What are the qualifications for sheriff? It should be someone brave like you, but more of a homebody. Someone who'll settle down and watch over us. I heard the powder gangers talking about someone in the prison named Myers who has some experience as a sheriff. Well, they're the ones that he started this problem. Choice. Also, with the NCR so close by, you may be able to get them to take... Okay, I'll bring law and order to Prim. You will? That's just marvelous. I'll start thinking up questions for the interview. The sheriff that was incarcerated up at NCRCF may be a good choice. You also may be able to convince that NCR guy across the road to take the town under his wing. Although martial law doesn't sound so fun. Okay, so he said that there is a sheriff that is imprisoned at the NCRCF, and I have never been there. I legit have never been there, and that seems like an interesting mission to actually do a rescue mission of the sheriff there. I've, like, yeah, I, I kind of like that. Um,. Oh, what's with this? Okay. It might be part of a mod, or maybe they just closed the door. Because they saw all the chaos going Morning. 
Can we warp up here? No. Unwarp radio. That's kind of out of the way. We'll just have to huff it up there. Uh -huh. Hold on. Is that two new bounties right there? Or is that just, that's just targets. Okay. Just keeping an eye out for bounties because that's what well, we are. We're a bounty hunter, but we are also a rescue mission uh, doer. I don't know what you call it. Hey, where the hell do you think you're going? Well, we were just there and we took care of it. I can take care of myself. It's yours. Don't. Yeah, whatever. He's just a trooper. Look, I'm a ranger. I'll rank you. I, I think I rank him. Try the incendiary rounds next time. See what happens. Oh, it's just geckos. Ain't this a... Don't worry about no gecko. Geckos ain't nothing to worry about. Is that the NCR CF right there, or is that Prem? It's Prem. Go ahead and put our gun away so we can run a little bit faster. Yeah, like I've never been inside of the prison, so this is going to be all new to me. I'm actually. Been excited to see something new. And I've never seen any playthroughs where someone went inside the prison either. The prison is heavily armed, though, so that's part of the reason I never went in there. I didn't ever have the good enough weapons for it. Getting radiation for some reason. If we can sprint up there. Pretty decent little sprint. Next time we get a level, if we ever do get a level in this LP, uh, we're going to probably go with agility, and I think that might give us more AP so we can run farther. I don't see why not. It's not like there's many perks that I'm really worried about at this point. And another one in agility would be good. Also, we need to keep an eye out for cybernetic implants, which is another little addition that I've put on here, so we can get all sorts of Terminator stuff that we can do. That'll give us like slow down and other stuff. I don't know why my slow down button doesn't work anymore, but maybe that got disabled somewhere it's along on. the way. I don't remember the NCRCF being this far away. Vilified by the powder gangers. Um Alright. I did not know that, but okay. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, they're pretty fortified down there. They got the whole... Is there a road that goes... To... No, well, kinda. Maybe I haven't seen it, but this is our next raid. Can, we... Can I zoom in anymore? He's on fire. Not exactly the... As much as I like the idea of setting him on fire, it's like... Not exactly the best weapon in the world, is it? It's not the best bullet, I mean. We got this boy right here. He's dead. Shot. Love that sound, that little thunder sound. I mean, that was a miss, but that was also a bad shot. Love that sound. I think he's already dead. Ain't this a bitch? Yeah, he's already dead. He's dead. Ain't the first time somebody's pointed a weapon at me. Get over it. That is such a rough shot right there. It's 
Stay still, he's dead. I don't see how I could get any more infamy. I'm already vilified by those people. I just don't see the point in being friendly to the powder gangers anyway, because they're not really even a major faction to begin with. They're just kind of a ragtag bunch of idiots that got taken away from the to escape the prison, basically. So, I mean, they're not really anything special. Put them down. Up. Oh. I think we missed a couple of them. Anytime, sweetheart. That'll be good. Hey! Myers has died? Who the fuck is Myers? Oh, that was the guy. That was the powder ganger. Um, If I wanted to make him the sheriff. And I didn't want to make him the sheriff, so... I don't mind him being dead. We're on a rescue mission to save the original sheriff or some sheriff. I don't know who it was exactly, but. And the game crashed. Okay. That was weird. That was a weird way to end the episode, but uh, see you in the next one.